Another very hypocritical occurrence that happened in the Jehovah's Witness cult. Um, in the story I'm about to tell, this may not sound like a big deal to a lot of people, but this is using their own rules, their own beliefs. Um, and that is why it's just very hypocritical of them. So if you watch my past videos, you learned I got disfellowshipped or um, dis pretty much shunned for making out with my boyfriend and grinding on each other with their clothes on. Um, so in this same time period, a brother named Daniel Garcia, who was dating an elder's daughter, and he was actually dating Casey Wilson's stepdaughters, who it was, um, he had for years been lying about having openly had committed a, um, fornication multiple times with a girl named Kylie. They had hidden it. They had planned everything. Um, they lied about it for years, which is like the ultimate sin in the, the JW cult. Um, and with that, him having sex over and over with this girl, um, lying about it, he had gotten in trouble with, you know, a couple of girls kind of messed around, nothing very serious, but he had engaged in other kind of not great behavior. Well, then he continued to lie and hide it, went to Bethel, which I am still planning on doing a video to explain Bethel a little bit more to you guys. Um, and he went to Bethel and he was there for a little bit. Then he finally, his conscience ate him alive that he was able to get such a high privilege like Bethel. So he finally told on himself, they sent him home and he awaited his committee meeting here in Bend. Well, guess who was on his committee? Casey Wilson, the father, the stepfather of the girl he was dating. So guess what? Daniel never got disfellowshipped. And to show even how much more hypocritical the situation is, not only did Casey prevent him from getting disfellowshipped when clearly he should have by every single, not just the scriptures if you're going off that, but by the actual books that Jehovah's Witnesses talk about. Um, he clearly had a bad attitude about it. He was lying. He did it multiple times. He'd planned it out. He'd been in trouble prior. Like there's so much to why he, there, he for sure should have been disfellowshipped, but the more, at the end of the day, the more um, hypocritical instances that happened after was when I got disfellowship for simply making out with my boyfriend. Um, those people listened to the elders and shunned me, yet those same people supported Daniel, went out and um, all participated in his wedding to Casey's stepdaughter, even though he had done so much worse, had a worse attitude about everything, um, and yet they all still hang out with him today, including my sister. 